you have to keep in mind that Let Me See Your Transcript had interviewed me uh, early on, like last year. And she got a lot of flack and a lot of criticism from people. In fact, I got most of the buzz and she got the shaft, as I would say. And she never did anything and, and she got the brunt end of that. I think when this happened and her, my being uh, given positive videos by AES, I think that was the last straw. And so she decided to turn against me and more specifically, she decided to turn against anti-Afro. DNA, man, what's up, man? Man, I got something to tell you, man. Let's go back to the, the first thing, whatever you want to say, go ahead. The situation going on between Let Me See Your Transcript and anti-Afro was made all by Let Me See Your Transcript. I'm just going to be real. Ooh. Okay, anti-Afro, let me say this real quick. Anti-Afro never went after Let Me See Your Transcript until Let Me See Your Transcript start making these surviving anti-Afro videos, man. She came out talking about she was the president. And you remember that day when I, I think I was on your show doing a live stream. Let Me See Your Transcript comes out and say, hey, I'm the new president of the AFW. And I said, no, you not. Let me see your transcript. I said there's a plethora of people more qualified than let me see your transcript. That was a lie. And I think when she came out claiming that she was the president, that's when anti-Afro, you know what I'm saying, went, uh, you know what I'm saying, went for the kill, man. And I don't, and you know, some people may feel some kind of way. I don't feel nothing about what anti-Afro did because she was defending herself. I'm going to tell you one thing I don't like that people do to anti-Afro. They attack this woman, make videos, blog about her, but then when she fight back, she try to defend herself, all of a sudden, anti-Afro is public enemy number one. All Let Me See Your Transcript do is talk about people, make fun of people, then when people come at her, all of a sudden it's a problem. See, Let Me See Your Transcript, I hope you listen. She love to play victim, brother. Let me see a transcript. Love to play victim until somebody come and check her, man. And, and I check. Let me see your transcript. I checked her in front of everybody. And anti Afro checked her, man. That's just what it is, man. All right. Are you still cool with AAS? Anti Afro? Yes. Yes. And I, 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 I'm always going to be cool with anti Afro. And I tell you why. When I first came in the game, I'm talking about, man, when I only had like a few hundred subscribers, it was certain people that was helping me. It was certain people that was showing me uh, the game, and Anti-Afro was one of those people. If you loyal to an organization, I don't care if you are a police, if you're a part of a fraternity, if you're a mason, if you're a part of the Illuminati, if you are part of an organization of a group, and then you turn coat, you turn on the leader or you turn on the so-called uh, 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 people in positions of power, that makes you a turncoat. You got to ask yourself, Brother DNA, what happened? What happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. Let me see your transcript. Don't know how to keep her mouth shut. She think that just because she on YouTube that she can say whatever she want to say. And I, I, I'm sad to hear about her being docked. I heard some People been calling a job and, and and all this here. I don't think that's right. I don't think nobody should be docked. But at the same time, if you putting yourself out there into the stratosphere, like you some kind of moral leader, I'm talking about let me see your transcript. You some kind of moral leader, but when people go to your channel, all they see is you attacking other people. And she think people ain't going to bite back. You can't continue to bite at somebody and think they're not going to bite back. So, are you upset because, um, let me see your transcript, ran off with the rich and, and uh... Not at all, man. That? I mean, I mean, whoever made people moderators on their channel, I just want to say this by anybody who got a channel, who got people who are, uh, uh, moderators who give people rich. Be careful who you give riches to. It was really just trying to, you know, do little slick stuff, man. So you got to be careful, brother DNA. If you make somebody a moderator on your channel, they have to be deserving and trustworthy of it. 
That's the only way they should be getting the rent if they trustworthy and prove themselves because people with moderated power got a lot of power on your channel. I didn't realize how much power people that got rent got on your channel. They can erase people comments. They can delete people. They can stop people from coming to your chat room. So you got to be very careful, man. You know who you give riches to, man. But I just want to say to let me see your transcript. You owe anti Afro an apology. You owe the AFW an apology. You need to come back and apologize for all the miscellaneous stuff you've been doing. See, don't folks, don't think let me see your transcript a victim. She ain't no dang victim. She knew what she was doing. And she still know what she's doing. And she's trying to play the victim because everybody is coming for her gluteus maximus. That's what's going on.